Imagine life before matches, when starting a fire required flint or magnifying glasses. Thanks to British pharmacist John Walker, we now have the convenience of creating flames with a simple strike. In 1826, while stirring a chemical mix, Walker noticed a dried lump on his mixing stick. When he scraped it off, sparks and flames appeared. Recognizing the potential, he marketed the first friction matches, calling them friction lights, and sold them in his pharmacy. Initially made from cardboard, the matches were soon upgraded to wooden splints. They came in a box with sandpaper for striking. Despite advice to patent his invention, Walker didn't, believing it would benefit humanity. Unfortunately, this decision allowed others to steal the idea and dominate the market, ultimately forcing him to cease production of his version. His unpatented discovery, however, revolutionized fire-starting methods worldwide. Before antibiotics, infections were often fatal, and there were few ways to fight them. The first antibiotic, penicillin, was discovered in 1929 by Sir Alexander Fleming, a bacteriologist who made the breakthrough while tidying his lab. Upon returning from vacation, he noticed a petri dish of Staphylococcus bacteria had been left uncovered, and mold growing on it had killed many of the bacteria. Fleming identified the mold as Penicillium notatum and found it could eliminate various bacteria without harming small animals. In the 1930s, Howard Fleming Flory and Ernst Chain built upon Fleming's work, isolating penicillin, a substance that could revolutionize medicine. In 1945, they shared the Nobel Prize with Fleming for their discovery and its impact on curing infectious diseases. The penicillin production process involved freeze-drying, where the substance was vacuum evaporated to leave behind the powder. This discovery forever changed the treatment of bacterial infections. In 1895, German physicist Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen was experimenting with a cathode ray tube when he noticed a strange phenomenon. A piece of paper coated with barium platinocyanide began to glow across the room. He realized that the glow wasn't caused by the cathode rays, which couldn't travel that far. Uncertain about the nature of the rays, he called them X-rays, with X symbolizing the unknown. Further research revealed that X-rays could pass through various materials and affect photographic plates. Röntgen famously took an X-ray of his wife's hand, revealing her bones and a ring, which sparked widespread fascination and secured his place in science and medicine. In 1901, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his groundbreaking discovery, forever changing the field of medical imaging. 